What's up, guys? Theo here, doing a prediction for the main event, Roman Delize versus Nasruddin Imavov. Right now, Nasruddin Imavov is a minus 185 favorite, and the comeback on Roman Delize is plus 140 on DraftKings. Guys, I like Roman Delize here, and the reason for that is, is that I have just never really been super high on Nasruddin Imavov. Initially, I wasn't super high on Roman Delize either, but as time has come on, I've kind of realized that I underestimated him a little bit, and he, he is pretty decent and has decent power. And, you know, Nasruddin is probably a more well-rounded mixed martial artist, but the thing about Nasruddin is he kind of epitomizes French fighters and the strengths that they have, but also the weaknesses that they have, right? So he's very technical, uh, he's not super aggressive, and he is well-rounded, but a lot of times when he's fighting, he's just kind of like backing up and like kind of touching and moving back out, and he just never seems to really be doing what you want him to do. He, he seems to have like this really good striking, doesn't go forward and doesn't use it. He tries to do this like French savat thing where he's like standing back and like fucking like flailing his arms at you. And um, I just don't love how much the guy really talks himself up. I remember in the fight with Sean Strickland, he was going into that. And this was a pre Adesanya Strickland. He was the favorite in that fight. And he was talking himself up like, I have a nasty side. I'm the future of this uh, division. I'm going to be the champ. You know, people think they're going to win and they get in there with me and it goes a different way. But the guy just hasn't really ever been able to deliver on the game that he talks. When he gets in the octagon, he just um, he just can't seem to find that extra gear that you get into where you can like finish fights and actually like make like explosive things happen inside the octagon. And that's going to be kind of a bad look against Roman Delize here because Roman Delize, even though he himself I don't think is the most skilled fighter. One thing about him is that he just keeps going forward. He keeps looking for a knockout. He's very aggro, and that's not something I typically really like about fighters. I prefer a fighter with a high fight IQ. But the reality of it is, is I've just always found Nasruddin to be a bit overrated, and I just don't see him going in there and really putting it on Roman Delice the way that he's going to need to to win this fight. Roman Delice was in that close fight with Marvin Vittori. A lot of people thought that he won that. The thing about Marvin Vittori, guys, is he gets gifted a lot of decisions that he did not earn. In my opinion, he didn't even beat Paulo Costa. So, you know, take that for what you will. Some people do believe Delize won that fight. It was an extremely close fight. I think you could have scored it either way. But, um, you know, Delize's output could use some improvement. But he's very powerful, and he makes the fight a struggle for his opponents. And the thing with Nasruddin is he's always making fights close. That's the thing with Nasruddin is like he, he, you always feel like he has the ability to finish these fights and like do more and he just doesn't. He just doesn't do what you want him to do. Um, and given that, I mean, you can't pick him as a as a, some huge favorite here in, in this fight that is an extremely hard to predict fight. I mean, I would be very curious if there's anyone out there that has like a really confident lean on this fight because I personally do not and uh, I don't. I'm not super hyped for this fight, to be honest. I actually think it's one of the least interesting fights on the entire card. It's ironic that it's the main event, but I, I just could not care one way or the other what happens. I don't care if Delize wins or loses. I don't care if Nasruddin wins or loses. So I have no real emotions invested in the fight, but the reality is, is my gut going into this was that the underdog, Roman Delize, was probably going to be able to use his power and aggression to overcome the relatively lackluster technical game of Nasruddin Imavov. Nasruddin doesn't really have the fighting style to succeed in the UFC anymore. Um, judges and fans, they don't like to see these fighters that are skilled and just play it too safe and are a little bit too technical than they need to be. And that's kind of the, the thing with Nasruddin Imavov. You feel like he's always just punching below his weight. Um, and I don't like that, and I especially don't like it at minus 185 odds. So I'm not crazy on Roman Delize as a fighter or anything like that. And honestly, if I had the choice to not even really make a prediction about this fight, I probably wouldn't. But it is the main event. I want to put out a prediction video, even though I'm not super high on the fight, and I don't care, and I'm not going to bet on it. 
but I do think Roman Delize is going to find a win here. I don't think he's going to be able to knock Nasadine out. I think Nasadine is a little too elusive and a little too game for that, but I see the judges preferring what Roman Delite is going to do in there over versus what Nasadine Imovov is going to do. Now, if Nasadine can like get him down, control him, get some kind of thing going in the grappling, but I don't think Nasadine is too reliable in that department. He doesn't really usually try to get people down and put a grappling game on people. He likes to just like do this French kickboxing thing where he's like standing back and just hitting you with shots and acting like he's doing a lot, but he's really not. So give me Roman Delite here, guys. Um, not going to bet on this fight, and he's not really a super confident underdog pick for me or anything. There's a lot better dogs on this card, in my opinion, uh, but I will go with Roman Delite here, guys. So that's the pick for the main event. Keep it locked in, guys. We got a lot of dog spots on this card. We made a lot of dog predictions. So hopefully the dogs are going to bark tomorrow night and we'll look great. Keep it locked in, guys, and uh, see you tomorrow.